Slava Isusu Christu. And good evening to one and all. Uh, welcome again to St. Joseph's Church here and wherever it may be and your homes at this time. We are, we are still in Good Friday, the evening service we are praying. Uh, is called Jerusalem Matins. Allow me for just a few moments to share some thoughts with you which just may help in the praying of this service this evening. This service is very unique to Holy Week. And at this point in time, the service focuses on how our Lord is in the grave. A big contradiction, the creator of the world is in the grave. But we must keep in mind that even in the grave, the Lord continues his work. His work. And the work is this, is to undo the threat of death. We've heard the phrase death threats, and we may think of some, someone taking revenge on us, or we may think of criminal activities. And unfortunately, in our day and age with the pandemic, the threat of death is all around us, unfortunately. But what we're lo focusing on here is just not an earthly death, but a spiritual death. For before Easter, before the resurrection, everyone who died was held in the grips of death. And what our Lord is doing throughout this Holy Week, and now in a very intense way, he is descending into Hades, and he's starting to break death apart. He is breaking down the doors of Hades. So all those who are held captive will now have the experience of being brought back to life. So again, it seems strange that our Lord is in the grave. It's almost wondering why he's in the wrong place at the moment. But actually, he's in the right place because his mission to save humanity continues by breaking the chains of death, by breaking all power of sin once and for all, and to grant eternal life not only to us, but especially to those who have already passed away. With these few thoughts, uh, let us uh, begin our prayer uh, this evening. Trust be you,
Glory to the holy, consubstantial life created, undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and to his people on earth, his peace. And good will glory to God in the highest and to his people on earth his peace and good will glory to God in the many are my adversaries, many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no salvation for him and God. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory, you lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. When I lie down to sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people, Arrayed against me on every side. Rise up, O Lord, save me, my God. For you strike all my enemies on the cheek, the teeth of the wicked you break. Salvation is the Lord's, upon your people be your blessing. When I lie down to sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities, he heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, he crowns you with kindness and compassion. He fills your lifetime with good, your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord secures justice and the rights for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, so slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, he remembers that we are dust. Man's days are like those of grass, like flower of a flower of the field he blooms. The wind sweeps over him and he is gone, and his place knows him no more. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity, 
to eternity towards those who fear him. And his justice towards children's children, among those who keep his covenant, and remember to fulfill his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. Obeying his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, everywhere in his his domain. Bless the Lord, all my soul, everywhere in his domain. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace for on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our most blessed patriarch, Sietoslav, our most reverend metropolitan, Lawrence, and all of our God-loving bishops, the reverend priests of the diaconate in Christ, and all clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our nation under God, our government, and all the military, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and country and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For favorable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
with an upright heart when I have learned your just ordinances. O Christ, you are the life laid in a tomb by your death. commands when you give me a dorsal heart. O Christ, O oh life, you experience death and you deliver the mortals from death. And to all, all you grant life today. So shall I have an answer for those who reproach me, for I trust in your words. O source of life. How is it that we see him dead? The angels trembling proclaim. How is it possible for God to covered in the grave. Remember your word to your servant, since you have given me hope. I adore your passion. I praise your burial. I glorify your might, O oh, lover of a soul, because through them I have been delivered from my bodily passion. Indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your love. By your own will, you showed yourself dead in the grave. Oh, word of God, but you live and you restore your people to life through your resurrection as you had foretold. I was prompt and did not hesitate in keeping your commands. Oh, woe to me, light of the world. Oh, woe to me, my light, Jesus. My beloved, the blessed Virgin, 
weeping bitterly cried. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. O word of God, O my joy, how will I endure your burial today? My heart is torn asunder. Bemoans the blessed virgin. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh, And God of all, in our hymns, we praise you with the Father and your Holy Spirit, and we glorify your Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remember our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, you. Oh, Lord. For your name is blessed and your kingdom glorified, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Oh, Me and 
fortunes to me. Give me discernment that I may learn your command. Oh, life be stalling, Lord. It is right to Out your arms upon the cross and have broken the power of the enemy. Those who fear you shall see me and be glad because I hope. In your word, the earth trembled with fear. Oh, say your Christ and the Son in itself. See. The light that knows no evening, sinking in your body, down into the tomb. Though through all generations your truth endures, you have established the earth and it stands firm. Joseph hid you reverently in a new Oh, 
one could not witness this event, but darkened while it was still midday. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but from your precepts I have not strayed. You oh, oh, slept for only a short time and replenished life to the dead. And when you resurrected, you also restored life to all the deceased. O oh, merciful one, my eyes strain after your salvation and your just promise. Seeing you, O oh, Christ, the invisible light, hidden lifeless, Sun trembled and darkened its light. For I love your command more than gold, however far great and fearful. Is the sight now before our eyes, O Savior? For of his own will, the cause of life submits to death, that he may give life. With open mouth and my yearning for your commands. Today, with it hymns we faithfully honor your crucifixion and your burial, O Christ. Be because we have been delivered from death by your burial. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Red. Eternal Father, co-eternal Son, and Holy Spirit, save our the 
scanned on those of the church and in your love grant her peace. O oh, life bestowing Lord, it is right to For your hands were painfully stretched out on the cross, and in this way you destroyed the power of death. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, you. For you are holy, our God, seated upon the throne of glory of the cherubim, and we send up glory to you and to your eternal Father and to your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Oh, 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 oh. according to your promise and let no iniquity rule over me. Bringing you sweet spices the myrrh bearers draw near oh my streams of tears because your law has not been kept. O most blessed Joseph, bury the body of Christ, the giver of love. I call upon you, save me and I will keep your decree. Seeing you dead the blessed virgin as a mother cries out. Before dawn I come and cry out, I hope in your words. Oh, my most beloved son, 
Compassion is great, O Lord, according to your ordinances. Give me life. O oh, Son of God, King of all, my God, my Creator. How could you endure such sufferings? I rejoice in your promise as one who has found rich spoil. I glorify your mercy, O my Son. you suffer so, so greatly. Let my supplication reach you. Rescue me according to your promise. To those who with love and fear forgiveness of their sin. My lips pour forth your praise because you teach me your statue. Oh, how terrifying and wondrous is this phenomenon, O Word of God? How is it that the earth entombs you? May my tongue sing of your promise, for all your commands are just. Joseph, who carried you, as a baby lives no more, now another Joseph takes you into his arms and buries you in his grave. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh, my God, O oh Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, grant your mercy to the world. Forever and ever. Amen. Grant to us, your servants, to behold, O Virgin, the resurrection of your Son. Hey, 
Hades. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. O Savior, the ointment bearing women came to your grave with all ointments, and there the angels say, to them, why are you seeking the living one among the dead? Indeed, he is God. He has risen from the dead. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O Virgin, you bore the giver of life. You redeemed Adam from his sin and granted joy to Eve instead of sadness. For he who was both God and man was incarnate of you, and he has restored life who have strayed away from it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are the King of peace, O Christ God, and we send up glory to you and to your eternal Father and to your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness and your compassion, blood of my offense. Wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What, what is, is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. Oh, seeing guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, that I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may thrill. From my sin, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart, create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me. And I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spur. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice. Burnt offerings wholly consumed. Then you will be offered young bulls on your own. The one who at one time covered the oppressor 
earthward waves of the ocean, now is himself covered under the earth by the children of the saved one. And we as children sing to the Lord. Gloriously was Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, oh, 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 no. For you are our God, and we send glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Oh, 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 oh. Let us magnify with hymns the Mother of God and the Mother of Light. Do not weep over me, O Mother, as you see in the conceived in your womb, whom without seed, I will resurrect and be glorified, and I as God will Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and we send up glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
Give praise to the Lord from the heavens. Give praise to him in the heights. To you belongs praise, O God. Give praise to him, all you his angels. Give praise to him, all you his powers. To you belongs praise, O God. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, shiny stars. Praise him, highest heavens and the waters above the earth. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made. He fixed them Gave a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all oceans. Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy waves that obey his word. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars. Peace, wild and king, reptiles and birds on the wing. All earth's kings and peoples, earth princes and rulers. Young men and maidens, old men, men together with children. And let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints. Of the children of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Glory to you who show us the light. Glory to God in the highest. And to his people on earth peace and goodwill. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father. With the Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father and the Holy Spirit. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we thank you for your great glory. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, hear our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are holy. You alone are the Lord Jesus Christ. For the glory of God the Father. Amen. I will bless you day after day. And praise your name forever. Count us worthy, O Lord of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord God of our fathers, and praise and glorify is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, because we have set our whole hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, Make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One. Enlighten me with your laws. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will for you, O Lord, are my God. In you is the source of life. In your light we see Keep on loving those who know you. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal. 
merciful, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy see on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be with all. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Arise, O Lord, and help us. And for the sake of your name. We have heard with our ears, O God, and our fathers have told us. Arise, O Lord, and help us, and deliver us for all the sake of your name. Wisdom. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Let us be attentive. <clears throat> the hand of the Lord came upon me, and he led me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among them in every direction so that I saw how many there were on the surface of the plain. How dry they were. He asked me, son of man, can these bones come to life? Lord God, I answered, you alone know that. Then he said to me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin, and put spirit in you, so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was the rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin cover them, but there was no spirit in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the spirit, prophesy son of man, and say to the spirit, thus says the Lord God, from the four winds come, O spirit, and breathe into these slain, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people, I will put my spirit in you, that you may live, and I will settle you upon the land. 
Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. Let us be attentive. Peace be with all wisdom. Let us be attentive. Arise, O Lord my God, may your hand be raised, and may it not forget your poor until the end. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart, I will speak of all your marvelous works. Arise, O Lord my God, may your hands be raised, and may it not forget your poor until the Wisdom. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast has its effect all through the dough? Get rid of the old yeast to make of yourselves fresh dough, unleavened loaves as it were. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, that of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and trust. Christ has delivered us from the power of the law's curse by himself, becoming a curse for us as it is written. Accursed is anyone who hanged on a tree. This has happened so that through Christ Jesus, the blessing bestowed on Abraham might descend on the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, thereby making it possible for us to receive the promised spirit through faith. Alleluia, alleluia, scattered, and let those who hate him flee from his presence. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. As smoke vanishes, let them vanish as wax melts from the presence of fire. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. So let sinners perish from the presence of God, but let the righteous rejoice. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Wisdom, stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to your passion, O Lord. Let us be attentive the next day, the one following the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees called at Pilate's residence. Sir, they said, we have recalled that the imposter, while he was still alive, made the claim, 
after three days I will rise. You should issue an order having the tomb kept under surveillance until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may go and steal him and tell the people he has been raised from the dead. This final imposture would be worse than the first. Pilate told them, you have a guard. Go and secure the tomb as best you can. So they went and kept it under surveillance of the guard after fixing a seal to the stone. Glory to your long suffering, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We heard some very powerful readings uh, during these Jerusalem Matins. The prophecy of Ezekiel is a wonderful reading. God tells him to go preach to these bones, these not only bones, but dry bones. That means they've been there a long time a great symbol and reality of death. Yet God tells him to preach to them, to preach life to them. And the Spirit came upon them and revived those dead bones. He brought life out of death. This is a good reading for us to hear as we enter the final hours of Holy Week as we come closer to the resurrection of our Lord. And again, it's just not a story for us to hear, but it's a story to apply to our lives with the help of God. For all of us carry something within us that is not full of life, something that is dead. We, too, in certain parts of our hearts and our spirits and souls, we're carrying dry bones. And our Lord doesn't want that. Our Lord wants us to be full of life, but the life that can only come from our Lord, the life, that gift which is experienced on the gift on the day of Easter, the day of resurrection. And of course, It's just not on that day, but every day. So as we come closer and closer to the great feast of the resurrection, the feast of feasts, the festival of festivals, let us not be afraid to go down deep like Christ did on this day, who was was in the ground, who was in the grave, who went to break down the doors of Hades and to free all those who had died, to give them life back. And in a similar way, the Lord wants to give to each and every one of us life, life totally. So look within, and whatever dry bones we have, offer them to the Lord. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Navika. Let us say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for our most holy, universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarch, Sietoslav, for our most reverend metropolitan, Lawrence, for those who served and have served in his holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
We also pray for our nation under God, for our government and all the military. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the people here present who await your great and bountiful mercies, for those who have been kind to us, and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and a loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Amen. This soul. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this soul. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. Grant this soul. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls, for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this Oh, that we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. This, oh, For a Christian end to our lives, one that is painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense at the Austin Tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. This, oh, Remembering our most holy and immaculate, the most blessed and glorious lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. So you, oh For you, our God, are gracious and you love us all, and we glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Oh. Peace be with all and with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. For it is you alone who have mercy and save us, and we glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom. Give the blessing. Blessed is the one who is. Blessed is Christ our God, always now and forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, strengthen the true faith forever and ever. O most holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim, ever a virgin gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you. Glory be to you, O Christ our God, our hope, Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, who endured spitting and scourging and blows, the cross and death for us, and for our salvation by the prayers of his most pure mother, 
of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, and by the prayers of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves us all. Thank you, one and all, for praying these Jerusalem matins this evening of Good Friday. Our next live streaming will be tomorrow morning at, a, at 11 a.m. That is the liturgy of Holy Saturday. And then in the evening, we will have our first resurrection service, our first Easter service, resurrection matins and liturgy at 7 p.m. And our main celebrant tomorrow night will be His Grace, our Metropolitan Lawrence. And at the end of our Easter service tomorrow night, we will then bless all the Easter food virtually here in church, and the blessing will extend to your homes. And then on Easter Sunday morning, we have a liturgy at 8 a.m., and there will be another blessing of food at that time. Until tomorrow at 11, have a peaceful, restful evening. Slava Isusu Christu. Slava Navika. La noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the tree. He wrapped it with a clean shroud and with aromatic spices placed it in a new tomb. Znjawše prečeste je tijelo tvoje, plaštene ce juče stoju, o, 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 obvel i po, ko što me vrobi novim pokrevše po, Lože. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the tree. He wrapped it in the straw and with aromatic spices placed it in a new Christos rozpiate na olhoti za hrihe svita bil terpet bez mirnek muka i skorbo ti potili Krosjate bišet za hrihe svito tak terpet. Bez mirnek mu kohi skorbo ti potili krosjate bišet. Za hrihe svi to tak terpet. Oči 
Sleep. 